bit. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's a great feeling getting blessed, uh, blessed enough to be picked that high. Um, obviously, you know, what they're doing already got a new regime and everything like that. So, you know, as, as the process goes on, you know, we'll have more conversation with everything. Um, but from there, it's, it's really just getting into that work. Whoever drives me, um, like I said, just an organization that, that believes in me and, you know, thinks I can lead them to, so, to uh, Super Bowls. Yeah. LSU's Pro Day has just came to an end here. Just a few minutes ago, we got to see talents of Malik Neighbors and Brian Thomas, two first-round wide receivers that I expect to be taken early on in this year's NFL Draft. And then you have the number two overall quarterback, Jaden Daniels, who I expect goes to the Washington Commanders at number two. Now, with that being said, in this Pro Day, the man showed everything we wanted to see, right? You know, right away we saw he can throw in the pocket. He can make those intermediate throws insanely accurate as a quarterback, high IQ football player, and an overall team player. We're going to break down the entirety of his pro day, and we're going to show you guys why exactly I have him as my second best quarterback in the draft, but maybe even as the most potential in this year's NFL draft class. Now, do me a favor and comment down below, where do you think Jaden Daniels ends up? And who do you want to take him? Do you want the commanders to take him? Do you want the Raiders to take him? Obviously, it's going to be based on your favorite team or maybe not your favorite team. Let me know in the comments down below. And with that being said, let's talk a little bit more about Jay and Dano's Pro Day. Okay, so the first play I want to show you guys here, they're going to have him running a drill where he's trying to avoid pressure, get outside the pocket here, right? Boom, you're going to have pressure coming up the middle. Let's roll out and let's, you know, step up and throw a bomb. I mean, this is really good placement on the football. And when you talk about some of his strengths, I mean, not only does he have an amazing accuracy and, you know, someone who can step in and be a day one player you know quarterback right day one starter but the man is so gifted man his football iq is top notch i'm gonna play you guys a clip in just a minute of you know uh, an nfl analyst talking about jay and daniels but the the man recognizes pre-snap pressure right away right he has you know a plan to counter it he's always very very smart in terms of pre-snap preparation but he always is on the same page with his wide receivers and you know throughout this draft process throw his team meetings and he's about to get into a bunch of them here soon Man, Jaden Daniels looks like he could be a star. Now, some other things that I believe changes Jaden Daniels in his game, right? He is willing to be a pocket passer. He's not someone who is looking to run on every single play. Um, he's willing to plant that flag and be a pocket passer. But at the same time, he is able to make plays on his feet. His footwork as a passer is insane, right? Um, you know, his anticipation with his throws are really, really good as well. And has the running ability to turn any play into a big chunk play, which is how you win football games, right? Big chunk plays and has the speed to keep defenses honest with the zone read concepts as well. So he's a guy who's dynamic, well versatile, and a guy who can do everything for your football team, as well as possessing the IQ, the you know leadership in everything you'd want a quarterback. This, in, in my opinion, Jaden Daniels is the easy answer for the number two quarterback in the draft. And I even slightly believe he could be better than Caleb Williams at the end of the day. All right, guys, real quickly, before we break down any more film on Jaden Daniels, we're actually going to watch some in-game film as well later on the video. Before we get into that, though, do me a big favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It is free. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. And also, comment down below where do you think he lands in the NFL draft. Number two with the Commanders. Number three with the Patriots. Or does a team trade up to number four if he falls to get him at number four? The Raiders, in my opinion, could be a team to get him. With that being said, hit the like button, subscribe. Let's get right back to the film. But look at these stats when throwing over the middle or throwing in zone coverage, I should say, and throwing when blitz, right? In 2023, completed 71.1% of his passes. Now, a lot of quarterbacks in college, when they are blitz, they struggle a ton just because there's a lot more pressure on you. But not for Jaden Daniels. 17 touchdowns, zero interceptions, over 1,000 yards passing just in 2023, right? Now, Daniels throwing against zone coverage in 2023. 77.6%, 2,400 yards, 21 touchdowns, zero interceptions. Guys, Jaden Daniels is a different breed of quarterback. 
Now, literally as we speak, Jaden Daniels is going to meet with a bunch of NFL teams, which is kind of hinting at where he could be possibly going in this year's NFL draft, right? So he's going to be meeting with the Patriots, who hold the number three overall pick, the Commanders, who hold number two, the Giants, who are up there in the top 10, the Vikings are right outside the top 10, can maybe jump up potentially. You know, the Cardinals are a team that might want to trade back, so there could be some flexibility in terms of some of these teams getting up there. The Broncos and the Raiders also have uh, picks right outside the top 10 as well. So there is a bunch of teams that want, want Jane Daniels or at least want to do their homework and study what he can be. Now, in my eyes, there are three teams that are most likely going to get Jaden Daniels. One being the Washington Commanders. I feel like that is the main team. You look at the fit, you look, look at Cliff Kingsbury and the quarterbacks he has coached in his collegiate career, as well as his NFL career. You talk about Kyler Murray. You talk about, you know, a, a guy in, um, you know, Caleb Williams. I mean, the man has uh, coached a lot of high quality quarterbacks, uh, especially in the NFL, knows how to develop them at a high rate. But at the same time, you look at what they're building in Washington, they're build building a dynamic, versatile team with a bunch of free agents and trying to rebuild that roster. I think the commanders would be stupid not to take Caleb or not to take uh, Jay and Danos if he's there. And then you look at New England. If the commanders do for some reason pass up, I feel like the Patriots have to. If they do not take Jay and Danos, Again, I think it is a big mistake. Maybe I'm way too high on Jane Daniels. Please tell me in the comment section down below, am I too high um, on Jane Daniels? What do you guys think? Who is the second best quarterback in this draft class? But then I think there's one team outside of the top 10 that could potentially be in play for Jaden Daniels. Now, I want to talk about a situation where the Washington Commanders, let's just say they go Drake May or JJ McCarthy, doesn't matter who they go, just someone not named Jaden Daniels, right? Now, New England might be a team where they're like, listen, we're not too obsessed with Jaden Daniels. We would have rather gotten Drake May. So with that being said, we need to acquire picks. They, The Patriots did nothing in free agency. They added no talent pretty much outside of a couple guys in Armand Watts and, uh, you know, KJ Osborne, you know, Antonio Gibson, right? But they might be in the situation where they want to trade back, acquire more picks and more future assets. The Raiders are a team who, you know, Jaden Daniels is very familiar with, right? He went to a game, one of the last games of the season, went to that game, has a, has a you know, relationship with Antonio Pierce. Jaden Daniels is a dog. He would literally fit the Raider Nation to a T. I think the Raiders, if the Commanders take Drake May, if the Patriots don't love Jaden Daniels, I think the Raiders move up to number three, give up a bunch of future assets, but land their guy, Jaden Daniels, in this year's NFL Draft. Now, I want to break down some film to you guys. I want to show you some of these plays that I've, you know, broken down the film on from Jaden Daniels. This dude is going to be insane. Let's look at him. Jaden Daniels is one of the most impressive prospects I've seen at the quarterback position in a very long time and now he's in a draft where he's not even projected to go number one that's Caleb Williams but now there are rumors that he might not even go number two which I think would be a mistake now I want to show you guys some film as we look at some of his plays when he throws over the middle the man is very high IQ now in this first play what we see here right away is two deep safeties okay so now keep in mind here we need to understand what the defense is running so boom quick snap what he's going to do is read the safety okay you're going to see the safety slightly bite up and then this safety immediately run to the middle of the field now what does that look to you cover three zone defense you got a blitzing linebacker boom this guy rotating out so now you gotta you gotta cover three right so you got one deep safety over the middle you got your uh two boundary quarters going out to the sidelines right and then you got three guys over the middle creating this wall uh a middle a mid read a hook curl and a hook curl right so boom what does that tell us the middle of the fields are open if you can fit it in those areas Boom, right here, we got a crosser. Look at this throw by Jay, uh, Jay and Daniels. Gets it right on the money. Boom, leads him in instead of, you know, down the field. Instead of getting hit by number 10 hard, he's able to then make a play after the catch as well. Now, if you guys didn't know, there's been a ton of news spiraling about where Jaden Daniels is probably going to go. There's been the Commanders, the Patriots at three, the Raiders trying to trade up, right? And now there's a lot of hype about J.J. McCarthy. So he might not even go number two. Whoever lands 
Jaden Daniels is going to find a stud. Now, in this video, I also want to break down some film, but also, if you guys didn't know, his pro day is today, which means in a few hours from now, once his pro day has concluded, we're going to break it all down. We're going to show you guys everything you need to know about his pro day and everything later on, all right? So make sure you guys subscribe. It's free. doesn't cost anything. And again, pro day video will drop later on today. Now, this play specifically, you get a corner blitz here. Again, you got to be able to read the defense and what they want to do. So you see these two linebackers get over to their zones. Uh, we got a mid read here, hook curl here, and then a guy playing a little bit of a, of a you know a vertical hook as well. So we see this crosser going over the middle. The one thing you notice about Jaden Daniels is he reads the top safety. It would be a risky throw to throw this crosser uh, because you have linebacker here, safety here. But then what does he do? He looks onto his next progression, right? Now, whenever you look left, you're going to force guys like this linebacker to go left as well. You see how Jaden Daniels is really, really forcing this left look. Watch this linebacker play move. Now he's rotating to the left side. Boom. Let's fire over the middle. Now that the linebacker has moved, dot. This is what you want to see out of your quarterback. And we heard in the beginning, this man's preparation is everything. He wants to win every football game. And that really does matter in the NFL. Now, after watching some of those plays break down, listen to what this NFL analyst had to say about Jaden Daniels in one of the days he ran into him at the LSU facility. When I look at Jaden Daniels, though, this is a special football player. I had to get down there. Remember, I was working on Eastern time, so I would get into the office a little bit early, and I would get there, and Jaden Daniels was there every single morning, and he would get in about 5.15, 5.30, and start working on virtual reality and film watching. And I remember one time I was asking, you know, not as a scout, but I was like, Jaden, tell me about this virtual reality stuff. What are you getting at? Is it all just for show? And his eyes lit up. And when he started talking about the detail of his preparation, he told me this story how he had never played at Mississippi State. But when he put the goggles on, he, the week before the Mississippi State game, knew exactly what the entire stadium looked like. He knew where the play clocks were in both end zones. He knew where every single detail about the stadium that he needed to know in terms of preparation for the game. Again, we can all, all, everyone sees how good of a player he is, how talented he is, how accurate he is, what an athlete he is. But what you don't see is the preparation. And this guy truly loves the game, loves the competition, and he is just a special kind of leader. Now, again, when we look at the teams that he is going to meet with, you usually don't see too many times in the top 10 where you see guys being taken all the way. Uh, also, by the way, look at the insane Photoshop here. Unless he just broke his elbow on the store. I don't know what happened with this photo. But shout out to Mr. Ian Rappaport for tweeting this out. But I feel like you don't see too many times in the NFL where a guy who is, you know, probably going to go in the top three, top four, top five. You don't see too many teams meet with him that aren't actually interested in taking him and you know vice versa right you don't see a team who's sitting at 20 um who doesn't meet with them but also trades up to get him right so one of these teams is going to be the new home of Jaden Daniels and I think this is a massive hint being dropped from a lot of these teams and I think quite frankly the three teams you see on the right side of your screen Patriots Commanders Raiders I think those are the three main teams that want Jaden Daniels. I think the Vikings and the Giants are kind of all in on JJ McCarthy. I think the Broncos also could take a JJ McCarthy or a Bo Nix, Michael Penix type of guy. Um, but man, I think when it comes down to after Jaden Daniels Pro Day, I think these three teams on the right side of your screen, one of them will end up having Jaden Daniels on their football team for next season. And again, when you list the strengths of Jaden Daniels, the man is going to be nasty. I mean, he's got great command of the field and great football intelligence. Um, great in terms of, you know, pre-snap intelligence. He knows what's going on. He knows how to, you know, pick and shoot or, or realize where the blitz is going to come from. Um, he's a full field reader, knows how to go through his progressions through go uh, good rhythm. He knows how to attack the field from the pocket, but at the same time has great footwork and great anticipation when throwing the ball outside of the pocket. And lastly, is able to run the football, make plays happen on his feet as well. This guy is going to add a new dynamic, versatility to whatever team he goes to. And I think the Washington Commanders, if they do find a way to get him, or not even find a way, they don't have to find a way. They can literally just take him. They do that. I think they're going to change their season next year and their future as well. Now, the one thing I am concerned about with Jane Daniels 
is he is a little slim, right? Obviously, doesn't have the biggest or the best build in the world in terms of quarterback. A little bit slim, but he's been productive while being slim, right? He's one Heisman. You don't need him to be anything else if that's his playing style. If that's what he, he wants to be, that's what he's going to be. Um, he's great at throwing in the pocket. Intermediate assassin. If you have a mid-range ball, it's gonna go. It's gonna go on target, right? And there's just so many intriguing tools and aspects to his game. I don't think you can pass up on him. But maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.